Hello, today I want to uh, take a deeper look into the latest Validos ROM for the Sony Xperia Z. Um, this is the main screen I used the Nexus <laughs> Nova Launcher, sorry. I used the Nova Launcher and um, we take a look at the, at the settings. Sorry, that is my main phone, the Xperia Z5. You see it's dark in here, um, the menu setting, everything is uh, black on white. And on here you see the uh, Validos OS, it's um, Android 6.0.1. And um, with the security patch of May the 1st. So we already got the developers options, developer options are here and now we have the custom settings for this ROM. You find them under settings and Wolf's Den. First of all we start with the status bar options. You can um, choose where the clock should be, like in the center. You can show the dates, AM PM style, we take the small option and um, size enable to display the date small size looks nicer I guess yes um, normal style lowercase date format um, we take which one which which one should we take June 3rd 2016 no uh, well, we we choose this and you of course can choose the color of the clock so we take it we take the red Seems pretty nice and red, yes. So you can change the battery icon. So I take the circle, show battery percentage inside the icon. You can choose to have a navigation bar, the navigation bar, location, uh, status bar, top of nav bar, or bottom of nav bar. I choose or, um, always. I choose the top of nav bar, and um, there you got the style, centimeter or regular centimeter. Then you can choose the color, you see there's the battery bar. You can add a charging animation and the battery bar thickness about one, two, three or four. I take four and you got this little um, okay, uh, battery bar on your nav bar. So icons, you can choose which icons should be visible on the status bar then the carrier label you can show the carrier label on the lock screen or uh, and the status bar you see it over there no i <laughs> i just have emergency calls because uh, my sim card is in the xperia z5 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 is, is it right excuse my english i'm german so um, it's hard to try for me uh, then you can show it on lock screen, custom carrier label, you can say maybe something like, um, uh, oh, come on, like Validos, Validos, I want to have this word, yes. Enable to choose a number of visible notifications, numbers, and you can choose the text color, so you take red, you see on the top, no SIM card, em emergency calls only, and it's in pure red. Is it visible on this phone? Yes, it's pure red. Then you have the network traffic you can choose from. Can we hide it? Thank you. Um, wait, you see now it's, um, it's an overlay there, so I disable it. It's not that nice, yes? So uh, you have the network traffic, you can download and upload to be shown on the status bar, text and icon, show bit values, <coughs> so um, wait, I have to go back to the carrier label, so um, type text, hide the indicator and you can choose the colors, I choose the red ones as well. So Validus logo, you can choose one. And then you have it there on the right side, you can choose it on the left side. And uh, also set the color to red. So next is quick settings. In the quick settings you can um, customize your status bar icons in there. So 
you can take show four tiles per row in large first row vibrate on touch and something like this and the status bar area you can um, enable thank you the status bar area the task manager to the status bar area sorry there's a system UE got restarted so you have on the left this little diagram so you can see what's your memory at the moment server settings header view weather you can choose this you can choose the icon pack of the weather we choose white maybe you see this one we have 20 degrees and it should be raining but at the moment it's really sunny custom header image we can choose from a variation so we take maybe validos and you see on the top it had changed so you can customize a little bit of it then navigation bar options um, enable navigation bar is uh, is always uh, is always on now you have the navigation mode smart bar or flinch we stay at the smart bar at the second and uh, take a look at the settings for the smart bar you can change a lot of stuff toggle toggle button editor so you can change by long pressing on it you can change uh, the icon or add an icon or something like that and you can give a uh, different color to the uh, navigation bar no yes so you got a, ra a red navigation bar as example but i undo this because i switch to nah. thank you uh, i switch to the Lynch. That comes from uh, EOS ROM. You know, uh, I don't know if you uh, watched my video about uh, EOS. So this is Flinch. You use it if you tap on it. You can swipe to the left and swipe to the right. Right is uh, recent and left is just back, like on the normal navigation bar. So you have the Flinch settings. There you can adjust the actions you do by swiping left or right or something like that at least you can um, change the flinch logo you can set a custom icon icon if you have some on your phone or you can reset or you can just simply change the color of the original icon you can change the ripple color tray color and something like that that uh, maybe we take uh, blue so if i go back you see the blue swipe on the ground this one or to the left so next one is advanced is pulse that shows the audio vis visualization on the navigation bar if you play music this only works if you use earphones so if i i can't show it right now oh wait i can't show it to you i have to plug these earphones in there dun, 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 dun. So, you have, um, you can change the width of the pulse bar, the spacing and something like that. So I just um, throw some music on. So, you can see this on the ground, the navigation bar changes to some color, it's a lava lamp um, option. So flinch is still working. You can go to reasons or back or whatsoever, but you have this visualization. So, but let's stop. Let's stop this. So, stop it. Thank you very much. Flinch is back. You see this over there. So, next step. Where do we have been? Settings. Yes. Let's go back. Back. Oh, and of course you can, sorry, you can choose the um, size of the navigation bar. If you like extra options, kill a back button, uh, button or left-handed mode, you can activate this also. So let's take a look at the other other options. Hardware buttons, advanced power menu. You can choose what you want, what to be shown on the power menu if you press the power button. Reboot menu, screenshot, maybe voice search. 
something like that. So if you push the power button, you see these options over here. You can set a lock screen torch and you can adjust the volume buttons. <coughs> you can change your recent screen to slim reasons or something like that. You can choose a lot of options, options here. And reasons are full screen reasons, search bar, memory bar, clear all button, clear all location. <coughs> Excuse me. So, and um, next step is lock screen weather. You can activate it here. So, you got your weather notification on your lock screen. Put this on. You see this? I am uh, at the moment I'm in Kralingen. It's in the Netherlands. And you see the weather, it should be rainy, showers. <laughs> so, next is uh, lock screen shortcuts. Center screen shortcuts or bottom corners. Uh, in, the, in the bottom corners you can change uh, these uh, icons. And you got these center screen shortcuts. So you can add a shortcut that's shown in the middle of the screen. And with a long press you can open it. In this case, I will take the camera app. No. So, there should be an option. Ah, applications. And then just choose the camera so I can show this camera to you too. So, back to the lock screen. And you see the this icon in the middle? You long press it. Hello. Double press, sorry. And you see, this is the camera of the Validus ROM. It's a great camera. I tried a, a lot of things in the meantime and it's really working good. Of course, it's not the, the Sony Xperia camera, but um, it's a great camera. So back to the settings. So we added the center screen shortcut. Then you have the lock screen wallpapers. You can choose, set new wall, wallpaper or choose return to, to default and uh, lock screen colors where you can choose a variation of uh, different colors for different things. Lock screen, lock icon, you can choose maybe, poof, we take this in red also. So if you take a look at the lock screen, you see the button to unlock the screen is red. And a lot of other options here. Last things are hardware navigation buttons, enable custom animation, disable navigation keys, something like that. And the advanced UI where you can choose different animations for different things like closed animation, list view. You have the app circle bar. Um, a, few, a few people might know this already. You can include some apps. You just take these six. And if you, if you swipe from the right side of your phone into the screen, you get this app circle bar. It's great. You can adjust the width and the position and the height and something like that. You can um, adjust the clock and alarm, weather panel, calendar events and something like that. That's most of the settings you can choose in Validus. It's a great ROM, it's stable for me uh, till now. I, um, I used it for two days now and it seems pretty good to me. If you want to see some other Sony Xperia Z ROMs, just take a look at my YouTube channel. I did a lot of reviews in the meantime, so uh, let me know what you think about Validus. Thanks for watching and enjoy your day.